Birmingham is Britain's second city, so it makes sense that some of Britain's best inventions were created here. Take photocopiers, for example. Yeah, they may have advanced a hell of a lot in 200 years, but the famous inventor James Watt, who is honoured with a statue in Centenary Square, first patented a design in 1780 for a copying machine while living in the jewellery quarter. It used a pressing mechanism to transfer ink from one sheet of paper to another, eventually became very popular and developed into the photocopy as we know today. Remember this stuff? Yeah, film roll. It was one of the most common uses for celluloid, a plastic patented in 1855 by Alexander Parks, a born and bred brummie. He discovered it after leaving a plastic called collodion to dry out. The residue of that left this new plastic. It went on to be used to make film roll and is still used today in items such as tennis balls, cones and guitar picks. Birmingham surgeon Leon Abrams invented the first variable rate pacemaker and implanted it on a patient in 1960. Initial designs for implantable cardiac pacemakers had been made by American doctors a few years earlier, but Abrams was the first to develop a variable rate one in Britain. The Mini is a staple of British society and came second in the Car of the Century Awards in 2000. The first Minis were manufactured at the famous industrial plant in Longbridge in 1959. And finally, the electric kettle. Historically, boiling water would always be done via heat on a stovetop, but in the 1920s, a company called Bullpit & Sons, whose factory was on Camden Street in Brum, invented a version of a kettle, where an electric element could be submerged in water, making the heating process a lot quicker. This became the blueprint for the electric kettle we know and love today.